folks welcome to fat guy flies rc as you can see i'm walking up to a very strange looking plane that is the fly zone sea wind i haven't flown i've had this plane for i don't know how many years back when fly zone was a still relevant contender in the model world since then uh, the the uh, fly zone has long gone bye-bye. They were purchased by Horizon Hobby and E-Flight. And this plane here, your right elevator, left, or right aileron, right aileron, up elevator, down elevator, right, right, left, right. Um, this plane has gone through many, many flights back before I even started my YouTube channel. And uh, the amphibious landing gear and the amphibious rudder that would come down and the retracts they no longer work or even are operational anymore they're just plain blank not operational it's strictly a belly lander but all the flight control services work just fine and so she does she's got enough rudder control where she can steer fairly well in the water and uh i just haven't flown her in forever just did my range test and uh we're ready to go so Timer set for five minutes. I don't have any voice prompts. But like I said, she will fly just fine on her belly. She does have flaps. She flies like she's on rails, really. Now I've got a Lemon RX in this one too. Same one that I've had in here for quite a while. And I've had absolutely zero problem with her. This plane just flies ever so gently. I'm running along at half throttle right now. I've got, I've got flaps. Now I've got the takeoff or the landing flaps are engaged. But very, very stable. Definitely not a rocket ship by any stretch of the imagination. But more than powerful enough. See? No flaps. So all she needs is just a little bit of air under that wing. Just a little bit of air under that wing and she'll take right off for you love that silhouette love that silhouette man she's flying good almost hands off right now We'll put a little bit of rudder in your turn. Wow. I'm impressed at just how well she flies. <laughs> that was a brush and go i wouldn't even call that a touch and go i'd call that a brush and go very 
very stable. <laughs> that was a full speed turn there. Man, I tell you, I, I had forgotten just how good this plane flies. All right, let's still got a minute and a half. We're going to do takeoff flaps this time. See if that doesn't improve our... Just a little bit, maybe. But she's a three-cell bird. I'm running a 2700... 3S in her right now, Lipo, Hobby Star. <laughs> wow! <laughs> you a happy bird? You're a happy bird. Now you can see the control surfaces. They're not, I mean, they're, they're not huge, but they got a decent amount of throw. Elevator is on top, rudder. Man, now there's no voice prompts, but I'm turning my, my switch down. As you can see, no, no throttle, no throttle. So let's see how much battery life we have. Man, I haven't flown this plane in a hot minute. Now, here's something really cool. It's got a hood. It's got a hood <laughs> with a kick with kickstands to keep the <laughs> Keep the hood up. All right, let's uh, see if I can fit this in there. Well, no, I'm going to have to take it out of there. Sorry. Bear with me. Bear with me. All right. All right. All right. Got the battery out of there. 66%. I could flew for another three or four minutes. All right, folks. That was a four minute flight. All right, folks. Well, there you go. That is the Fly Zone Sea Wind. Very impressed, man. I haven't, I've been, this thing's been in my mothball fleet for a couple years now. All right, folks. Y'all have a good one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And God bless y'all.